Hello YouTube, today we're going to be going over how to appropriately uh, count the number of atoms in a unit cell. Um, it's kind of hard to look at at first, but um, I'll kind of break it down nice and easy for you, hopefully. So let's get to it. Alright, so look at these two uh, structures for unit cells. We have, well, see if you can identify it. What's the one on the left? Is it face-centered cubic, body-centered cubic, simple cubic? What is it? Well, it is face-centered cubic. Um, you can tell because you have your simple cubic structure, and then you have one atom on each of the six faces, making it face-centered cubic. What's the one on the right? That is a body-centered cubic. You have your simple cubic uh, outline, and then you have one atom in the center there. Cool. So how do we count how many atoms are in these unit cells? Now, you might ask, you know, someone in elementary school, a child, and they'd say, oh, let me just count all the dots, right? Well, uh, it's a little different because, remember, a lattice, uh, or a crystal structure is made up of a lattice, and they have each unit cell um, is actually shared. So these atoms are shared with other unit cells adjacent to each of these cubes. So imagine just cubes everywhere, and you're looking at one cube, uh, but those cubes share, or those atoms are shared by other cubes next to it. Um, cool. So how do we count them appropriately? Well, it depends on where the atom is located in the unit cell. So for the face-centered cubic, if we want to count how many atoms are in there, well, there are six faces. And remember, six, those six faces, if you cut um, the atom in half, that other half would be shared by the adjacent cube. I wish I had a picture to show this, but you have to hopefully visualize that on your own. So cut the atom in half, that other half of the atom, remember these atoms are, we'll say are spheres, so pretend they're in 3D, you have a sphere, cut it in half, half of it is being shared by a cube next to it, the other half is at the one we're looking at. So there's six faces, and that's half an atom. Well, that's only including those atoms on the faces. What about those corners there? Well, there are eight edges, if you count the edges of the cube there, there's four, you know, atoms on the top and four atoms on the bottom. Um, well, those are only shared an eighth of the atom is shared. Just the little part on the inside facing the inside of the cube is shared because um, the other seven eighths of an atom are shared by uh, several, several other unit cells. So simply you multiply, do your math, you know, six divided by two is three and eight divided by eight is one. And add those two together and you figure out there are four atoms per unit cell for a face-centered cubic structure. Cool. If you have problems visualizing that, I'd suggest um, looking at 3D um, face-centered cubic structures online and using Google as your friend. Cool. Let's try BCC. I'd suggest see if you can do it on your own before I jump in. All right. So... Well, I gave it away. Well, it's asking, you know, determine the number of atoms. It said black and white atoms in the directions here got cut. So there's one black atom per unit cell. Um, but how many are there? How many of the white atoms are there? Well, let's take a look. There are eight edges, simple cubic. And like we said, an eighth of those atoms are shared. So that's one white atom. So there's one black atom and one white atom per unit cell. If it just asked how many total atoms, it would be two total or two atoms per uh, body centered cubic unit cell. Cool. I hope that kind of helped a little bit. I wish I had a better visualization for you, but I kind of just wanted to walk you through and talk you through um, counting how many atoms are in uh, these two types of unit cells. All right. Good luck and keep studying.